Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tuesday. So today my tip is a little bit more of an educational tip. Um, so not many people know that Kegels are not for everybody. So the Kegel exercise that lots of women are told to do after giving birth um, may not necessarily be the best for you. So uh, the reason is that um, we can have weak pelvic floor muscles and we can have tight pelvic floor muscles. If our pelvic floor muscles are tight, so if my hand was a muscle and I'm already kind of contracted, me making a fist and squeezing, although there's going to be some movement, is not going to be nearly as strong as if my muscles relaxed and then able to squeeze. So oftentimes women will be at home doing Kegels and they're doing Kegels and they're really trying to make their muscles stronger and yet their symptoms are not improving or actually getting worse. So then they stop the Kegels and um, may just continue sort of living with their symptoms. Uh, and what might be happening is that their uh, pelvic floor is overactive and simply cannot generate the power needed to overcome the pressure that's generated in the bladder. So like if you're coughing or sneezing, that's gonna be extra abdominal pressure, um, pressure on top of the bladder, and your muscles just might not be strong enough to take that because they're already contracted. So in these cases, we need to learn how to let go. And so this is why we do a, a, a thorough examination to determine what exactly is going on with the muscles. And if they are tight, we need to teach you how to reverse Kegel. And oftentimes, when I'm uh, assessing women for their uh, Kegels, they're sort of squeezing in this range of motion. And really, the pelvic floor needs to be able to kind of move through this type of range of motion, meaning we really should know how to relax the pelvic floor muscles before we contract them. So a visual that I often use with ladies um, when they're doing their Kegels is to think of their Kegels like a jellyfish, right? Have you ever watched a jellyfish move in the water? It will open up to propel up, right? So it kind of does this up and up and down motion by relaxing and then contracting. Well, that's what our pelvic floor should be doing. So if you're not sure how to relax your pelvic floor and get a good contraction, or you've been practicing Kegels and things are not improving, then you really, really need to see a pelvic floor physiotherapist to do a thorough examination and teach you how to move your pelvic floor like a jellyfish. So that is my tip Tuesday. See you guys next week. Bye.